Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to talk about look. This is look. Is it look? Do I say little or look? Look, Nas X. Um, you know LeBron James. He. Uh, I don't know if he executive produces or produces a show called The Shop. Um, it comes on HBO. I just finished watching the entire episode. Um, it was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, except for the whole Little Nas, Kevin Hart, gay conversation. I have a lot to say about that. But for the most part, the episode uh, was actually pretty decent. Um, let's go ahead and get into this, all right. So, Little Nas X is gay. Um, I, I think he's like 19, 20, very young. Uh, he's not legal, <laughs> okay? Uh, well, I guess depending on the country you live in, he might be legal. But over here in the U.S., he's not legal. Um, but I think he may be 20, I believe. Um, you know, he has broken records. He has his song. Uh, I forgot the name of the song. It's like the number one song that it was. A, it held the number one spot. Um, has broken the record for holding a number one spot on the charts. So anyways, uh, the point of this show is basically um, men sitting around like they typically do like at a barbershop and just having conversations and um, of course the conversation the conversations are not going to be as uh, rated R as they would be in a barbershop um, but they still have conversations that typically take place or the setting that will take place at a barbershop and so around the eight minute mark, um, they start, they bring little Nas X into the conversation. And then they start to go into the whole uh, him coming out of the closet and him being on top of the charts. And this is the problem that I have. Yes, it's great that you have the conversation about homosexual, homosexuality being had. With that being said, like I hate when people it's kind of like a Donald Trump type of move. Like, you will hear people say that Donald Trump doesn't speak to black people. And we know that that is the truth. But because he throws two niggas behind him at a rally and they show this on television, it's like, look, look at those two black people right there. He is speaking to black people but he won't go to anywhere black to actually speak to a black audience. You see what I'm saying? Like he's not gonna go to a black organization or to a black event. He's gonna get those two token niggas, put them behind him and then say, oh yeah, he is speaking to black people. Even if they're not there, they're watching him on television. So I feel like this is the same thing. Like you gonna get this very young person who not to take away from young LGBTQ folk, but you get this person who's only 20 years old, who probably doesn't have a lot of experience when it comes to living in this world of LGBTQ. And then y'all sit around this young man and then act like what he's saying doesn't make sense. When you know what he's trying to say, even though y'all won't let him speak, what he's trying to say, it actually makes a lot of sense. And just like he told Kevin Hart, if you really grew up in the hood like you say that you do, or say that you did, then you know exactly what I'm trying to say. So y'all get this one, y'all get this gay dude, y'all bring him on this show and y'all, it's kind of like one of those things, oh look, we're having a conversation. We're doing our part by having the conversation about homosexuality. Well, the truth of the matter is you bring somebody in who you know you can probably overspeak, over talk, can't get a point across. You're not gonna bring no queen in there who in their 30s or in their 40s or even in their mid 20s or late 20s who can actually speak about the conversation, hold a conversation, put your back against the wall. You can do that with a 20 year old. You can do that with someone like Lil Nas X who's really not going to give a lot of pushback. A bitch like me going to push back, okay? Point blank, period. So when you say things like, oh, um, um, 
And let me just say this much about Kevin Hart. One thing I hate about Kevin Hart is he's one of those people, he tries to play both sides of the fence. But Kevin Hart, sweetie, you the one, you are the one who said that if your son was a faggot, you would do X, Y, and Z. So then why do you turn around and act like what Lil Nas X is saying? He's just pulling it out of his goddamn ass. You're part of the reason, sir. You may not want to accept it, but you're part of the reason why people feel like they can't come out or they're not comfortable to be themselves. Because when you have people out there with kids saying on the World Wide Web, even if they're a comedian or not, that if their kid was a fact that they would do X, Y, and Z, why do you think people are not comfortable coming out? Then y'all want to get into this whole, this whole space of, man, so what? So what? Just be yourself. When motherfuckers try to be themselves, y'all disown them. Which one is it? Because you're confusing me. And I know if you're confusing me, and I'm not your child, you're confusing your own child if they happen to be gay or lesbian or trans. Um, oh, when he said, why are, you, why are you growing up being taught to hate gays? The same reason why you grew up to uh, hate gays. The same reason why you will grow up to say if your son was a flaming homo, that you would disown him. Like to me, Kevin is the type of person again, he speak he tries to speak he tries to speak on both sides of the issue, but what we've seen from you, it doesn't add up. When you had a chance to basically he said something like, um, when you have a voice. Exactly. When you have a voice, Kevin Hart, and you say things and things are brought like I've had this conversation with people at work before. And not to, I don't really feel like going back into the whole Kevin Hart thing, but the reason why Kevin Hart should have, because at first I said Kevin Hart shouldn't have apologized. Then I said, yes, he should have apologized. He should have apologized or at least or at least acknowledged that he offended people. Kevin Hart, you cannot be one of the biggest stars in the world. Your stardom continues to grow. Your fan base continues to grow. And then things that you have said about part of your fan base comes out and you don't want to acknowledge nor apologize. If I didn't know about Kevin Hart and I was gay and then I found out Kevin Hart said X, Y, and Z, why would you not want to acknowledge the things that you said? Yes, you have acknowledged them before. However, you, the level that you were on five years ago is not the same level that you are on today. Where you were at in 2010 is not the same space that you are at in 2019 when it comes to your stardom. So yes, things should be acknowledged. Things should be addressed when you have a voice. Um, I just didn't like the fact that you have these straight men around this young man pretending that they are really trying to have a conversation. I get it. Yes, Little Nas X is, he's breaking records. He's what I guess, a, is he a rapper? He's a rapper. So, okay, yeah. You, you're going to have him on the show. But why not have somebody else who can actually educate you or have a productive conversation? Because to me, this was not productive. It wasn't educational. It wasn't any of the above. It was, oh, let's try and, let's try and act like, oh, we actually are tackling the issue or addressing the issue of homosexuality. Y'all not going to dig deep into the issue of homosexuality because we know when you start really opening up those layers, peeling back those layers, we're going to start going into homosexuality in the black family, straight men, how y'all treat people, all of that stuff. But we know that that's not what y'all are actually trying to do. Right? I put Charlemagne the God as probably the most open-minded and accepting of gays. The reason why I said probably is because I don't know anything about the other guys. Um, I will say in Charlem Charlemagne, again, um, you know, Charlemagne does have this thing of so what? And I get what he was trying to say. Um, but the whole Kevin Hart, I just didn't. I was just like, Kevin Hart, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. You know you're full of shit. Stop trying, to, stop trying to please both sides because that's what you're doing at this moment. Instead of just being honest and being truthful in this conversation, you can't do that. You, you're giving these long-winded speeches 
talking in circles. I don't know what you're saying. I can't catch up. I'm rewinding it. I still can't catch up because you're speaking bullshit. Stop acting like y'all don't know what this boy was trying to say. Y'all know exactly what he was trying to say. Niggas don't accept homosexuality. And that's fine. But stop trying to act like what he was saying. He was just pulling it out of thin air. Growing up in the hood, you can't be gay. Bitch, growing up in the country, you couldn't be gay. Being black, you can't be gay. Stop acting stupid and tell the truth. Stop acting like, oh, well, why is it? Yes, you can. Why, 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 why is it? You know why is it, bitch? <laughs> Girl. Anyways, I'm done. Bye, y'all.